Good morning, beautiful people. It looks like uh, we'll have uh, quite a bit of things to talk about today. First of all, ah, got myself a tubeless track pump. So I do have a compressor to set up to pump up any tubeless tires. But I figured that thing is huge, it's noisy, and it's not that like I'm gonna pump up 50 tires a day or something. So this thing is nice and uh, pretty and pretty compact. So I got myself a pump for tubeless tires. Show you later. Let's get on with it um, because I do have an appointment today with Mr. Jason, who is buying a power meter from me and put on his gravel bike it's going serious so what's been happening I bought a new pair of earphones uh, my old Jaybird is stopped working I mean it turned on but the Bluetooth is not connecting so I always wanted a, a pair of these and I got it it's called the Neural Loop uh, look at the size difference of these two earphones the sound quality is like way better than the Jaybird so that's a nice upgrade there uh, the second upgrade front line this is called the exposure joystick it's made in UK is very high quality uh, definitely not cheap um, it was given by a good friend uh, Romano thank you very much that's very generous um, so now I can have a front line nicely just oh you can't you probably can't see it tucked nicely down there very neat and I bought another mount to um, uh, for the road bike as well so this is this is awesome the next one is I bought myself a another GoPro this is the um, the GoPro Session 5, which I believe discontinued. For the front footage, you don't need 4K. It's nice, small, compact, really light, and that will capture a lot of the, um, the new footage for group rides or for racing. Now move on to the bike. I made another decision. I'm pretty sure in about five to 10 years time, when we're telling our kids our stories, they'll be like, hold on, Dad, what do you mean you don't have suspension on your gravel bike? What world were you living in? That's right. Some brands and models, they already equipped some sort of suspension on the new model gravel bikes, but it's not very common yet. I'm pretty sure it should be common. We don't need a hardcore suspension like mountain bikes. But we need suspension and I'm sure they can make it more compact, more effective, even just really small travel, um, very light and they, they can bring the price down at some point as well. So my 3T Explorer gravel bike is pretty stiff. I mean the frame is like a stiff frame. Now this pair of Zip 303 wheels has been heavily modified. Uh, to, to suit road use um, the, the zip hubs has been taken apart and put on this pair of um, Hope RS hubs it's more robust and spins really well and all the spokes has been strengthened, reinforced but the only suspension part I have will be tires since I already remove the E-Tab uh, really chunky battery now I have more room to put a bigger tire so I got this set of uh, same tire Panerisa Gravel King SK 43mm tire I'm pretty keen to install on the bike to give the bike a little more compliance and also as much as I love the look of this bike I'm gonna put a set of aluminium wheels on the bike just to make it a little bit more 
comfortable and more practical for gravel riding. So I'm going to do that and today is going to be my first time to use a pump to pump up uh, tubular tires. So that's going to be fun. Hopefully it's not going to be messy. Yeah! <laughs> Mate, this thing is awesome. It's robust. And I just love this little switch. Ha! It's like my uh, Casio watch. It's awesome. Still, that's cool. That's what you need. Robust. All right, guys. Uh, tires on the wheel. And put sealing in there. I think there's a better way to do it. When you just seal the whole tire and then um, inject the sealing through the, the valve. But I'm gonna try it this way. For sealing, uh, I'm gonna try the stain no tube. Um, my mate Adam suggested. He he's done all the research. So apparently this is pretty good and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put 60 to 90 mil per tire recommended. Just like roughly. So just gonna open it up. Uh, this is a really odd angle really. Honestly. Oh, that smells so bad. So we're just gonna pour in here. Sixty to ninety mil. I think that'll do it. That'll do it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna seal it up. So first of all, switch to charge and charge to about 150 PSI. Let's do it. It's about 50 pumps. I think my uh, tricep workout is done today. All right. Lock it in. And moment of truth. Three, two, one. I'm just gonna give, uh, keep doing this, like a Tai Chi style. Flip around, make sure the ceiling goes everywhere inside the tire, and seal it up. Yeah, it's looking good, guys. <laughs> uh, now the tires are set up. They look pretty awesome. They look a bit wider than my 38 which is normal so I'm not going to use them or test them for the next 24 hours just in case make sure they seal properly let's uh, give this thing a measure <laughs> spot on 43 mil alright guys I know I said that a lot but this is pretty much the final form of the bike check it out Oh yeah, the 43 mil tire, heaps clearance down there. Still got heaps clearance, but happy with 43 for now. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> 